Hi, I'm Brianne and I'm Laura. And today we're going to walk you through the Dakota Central TV app on an Amazon Fire Stick. So to begin, the first things you need are an internet connection with Dakota Central and a streaming device like an Amazon Fire Stick. So we're going to show you the Fire Stick. This is the Fire Stick. It plugs into an HDMI port on your TV. So many of you have seen this box before. So this box comes out and this box or this uh, fire stick will go in its place. This is the remote for the fire stick. This remote will go away and it'll be just this remote. So we're going to talk a little bit about the buttons on the remote that you're going to use on the fire stick. So these are your main buttons that you're going to use here. The first one is your power button here. Then we have our speakerphone or microphone button that we can press and talk into the remote. We have our navigation ring here. This is very similar to our old remote where it's the up and down and side to side arrows. And this will navigate around in the fire stick and then we have our select button, which is similar to the OK button on the other remote. Then the next row here is your back button. And some people call this one the U-turn or a fish hook. And this is a button that you will use to go to a previous screen that you were on. The next button is your home button or the picture of the house. That button will be your button to, if you totally get lost in anything, you can always press the home button to go home to the main Fire Stick app. Then our next button is the three little lines or the menu button, or some people call it the hamburger button. And this will be used when you're in the Dakota Central app to get to your guide or to your recordings. So at this point, we're just going to show you how to navigate in the fire stick. So the first thing we're going to do is this is your main screen here that is going to pull up when your TV is turned on. You're going to have a Dakota Central app there. We're going to use the navigation ring to go over to the Dakota Central app. So we're going to press on the right hand side of the navigation ring and then we're gonna press the select button to go to Dakota Central. Once we're in Dakota Central here, we can go through the channels by using the navigation ring by going up to go channel up. You can go one at a time or you can hold it down and go really speedy through all the channels. If you wanna go down, same thing, but use the down arrow and then stop where you want to go. The next thing we will show you is how to use the guide. We're going to use the menu button, the three little lines, press it once, choose guide by selecting it, then this takes us to the guide. All the same channels are shown in there that you have subscribed to. So we can go up or down, you can go one at a time or you can go through it very fast. And then we can choose a channel. Then we can hit play by using our select button. And then we can play that channel. Now if we want to go back to our guide, hit the menu button, go to guide. And then we can choose to record something. So we're going to go over um, we'll go over to this show. We'll choose this. We'll go ahead and choose record. And we're going to choose to do record all episodes. At this point, we can go to new only episodes, or we could choose new and reruns. I'm just using the navigation key to navigate. I'm going to choose just new only channels. I'm going to choose. Um, it's only playing on one. Sometimes when there is um, multiple channels that that's playing on, you can choose different ones. 
So I'm going to hit the back arrow to get back. Then I'm going to go down to extra time. This is where you can choose um, to add extra time to your recording, such as if there is a sporting event or if there's a, an award show or anything that you want to extend the time to. So I'm going to say no to that. Then I'm going to go down and select OK. And now this will show up in my recordings. So if I'm back out of here, back out of here again, and I'll back over to start from the beginning. So now to go to our recordings, we're going to hit the menu button. We're going to go over to this red dot, select that. Now we're in the section where it shows recorded or scheduled. At the top, you'll notice that there is 34.7 hours out of 50 hours of the DVR service. So if we go down um, to recorded, the recorded section, we can go to different recordings here. We're gonna go to a gun smoke one. We'll go down here and play one of these. And this is where you can fast forward through. So to fast forward, you're gonna press the navigation ring on the right side to go forward. You can go individually in the 10 to 12 second range, or you can hold it down and go really fast through it. Then when I've stopped where I want it, then I'm gonna press my select key to play it. And then it will play. So if I want to go back, I'm going to hit my back arrow. I'm going to go back into recordings. I can also go to the scheduled section. And here is where I schedule to um, have this show play. If I select this, it'll show me all of the new episodes that are coming, which is just one here. We can choose to cancel this series recording if we no longer want this. And then we would choose yes. And once you do that, you're, when you delete recordings, if we go back over here, and come down here and delete one of these, choose yes. We will notice then, if we go back, we'll notice up at the top then the hours decrease there. So if I want to start back um, at the main spot, I'm just going to hit the back arrow all the way out. I'm going to go into um, the replay section now. So if you hit your menu button, Go to your guide. There's more options over here, in this gray arrow over there. So we're gonna use our navigation ring on the left to go back. Go down to replay and select that. Then we can choose most channels. It is 72 hours that you can go back and replay. So we would just navigate back to the left. And then choose one of them and then choose play. Okay. Then we have the recently watched, which can be utilized for like what you have used in the past for the last button. So once again, I'm going to go into the menu. I'm going to drop down using my navigation ring to go down. And then I can see the recently watched channels that we've watched here recently. Now these are all on, on the start of a day. For instance, you're watching some sports, um, baseball or football or basketball or anything. And you want to watch certain channels, you want a channel surf throughout the day, you can go ahead and go to those channels, put them in, go to each of them, and then you'll be able to see them all in your recently watched here. And then you can flip back and forth between them. 
So then we just hit to go to a different one. We hit our menu button, hit our down arrow on the navigation ring, and then choose a different channel. All right, so the next thing we're gonna show you is how to use the favorites. So we'll get out of that. If there is channels that are your favorites that you only wanna see in the guide, we're gonna show you by going to your guide. So hit the menu, go to guide. And over on the side here, there's little hearts on each of those numbers there. And if you go ahead and select that, then that heart will turn white. So we'll choose that as a favorite. Here's another one that we have had as a favorite. I will go ahead and unselect that so that it will no longer be a favorite. I'm just using my select button. And maybe we'll choose this one as a favorite. And then we will unselect that. So you can go through the different channels that you want. So maybe there's maybe just five to 10 different channels that you like, and those are the only ones that you wanna see. You can do this. So now to display just your favorites, you would go over to that gray arrow by using your, your navigation ring. Choose favorites at the top there. And now this will only show your favorite channels in the list. Now to just reverse that, we're going to go back to that gray arrow again. We're gonna select favorites, and now it will put all your channels back in your guide. Okay, so if you are watching a show and you would like to just pause it, you can go ahead and select, hit your select button here. This will pause it. And then if you want to start playing it, you just hit that select button again and it'll start playing. If we hit that select button again, this will also give you the option to go in and record. Or if you have chosen to do um, pause it for a little bit and then you decide you want to go live, you can choose to go live with it. Or this is the other option that you can choose to get to the closed captioning. So if we go to this audio subtitles, right now it is set to off, but we will go down to this and select that. Now if I back out of here by hitting my back arrow, now I will have closed captioning that shows up on here. To remove that again, we're gonna hit our select button. We're gonna go over to audio and then we would go to off and select that and then back out. Now, if you're watching TV and you're scrolling through your guide and you're unable to find anything to watch in there, you can go to our on-demand content. So again, we would go to our menu button and we could go to shows and select that. We can go through all of them or we can narrow it down by each category there. We just scroll down here and go to this show here. We could go over to view all episodes and then it would show the season. And this is content that the networks are putting out there. So sometimes it does change at times but you could choose one of these and then play. Now, if we want to go back again, we can hit our back arrow. We could go and search for movies. And again, you can search for all of them or you can narrow it down by category. Whatever your subscription is or whatever channels that you watch is the content that will show up in these on demand. Um, shows and movies. Now you can also go to um, search for things. And so you can go back to the menu again, go over to the magnifying glass, and you can either type in what you want to search for, or you can talk to it by using this blue button, the microphone button. 
So if we want to search for something like house hunters, we could try that. House hunters. And then we're going to choose next. And then it will show us different shows relating to house hunters. We would select it. We could choose view all episodes. And then we could see the episodes that they have out there. So if we want to get out of that, we can hit our back arrow and keep pressing it to get back to here. We wanted to cover a few of the frequently asked questions we get about the Dakota Central TV app. And one of those is, do I need a fire stick connected to every TV in my home? And we recommend that yes, you do have a fire stick connected to every TV in your home so that you can watch it on every TV unless there's a TV that you don't watch very often. You could move, but it's harder to unplug and move TVs. So we do recommend that you have a fire stick on every TV. Another question we get asked often is how many streams do I need? And the streams that are included on your account with your subscription are two streams. So that means two TVs in your home can watch the Dakota Central app at one time. If you have more than two people in your home that are going to be watching the app at the same time, you can increase that number of streams. And you can also increase the number of hours you have for recordings um, higher than the 50 hours that it comes with. Um, we also get asked that if you can if you can watch the app on mobile devices like smartphones and tablets and there is an app available on Android and Apple uh, tablets and smartphones where you can set up recordings and watch live content as long as you are connected to the Dakota oh, to a Dakota Central internet connection. Um, if you're outside of our network, you can still watch it. You just need to record it and then seven minutes after it starts, you can go ahead and start playing that. So you can travel with this Fire Stick or with the Dakota Central app also. We invite you to come into one of our offices and take a look at the app and take it for a test drive, try out the remote, and you're always welcome to call in if you ever have questions. Thanks for watching.